How's it going everyone? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. So on today's video, we're going to be going over a one year update on a 2023 Honda HRV. Now this is a 2024 model year, uh, but this update will pertain to uh, going back to the whole previous year. And we have we had our first HRV, I believe just about September uh, 2022. So here we are one year later. And I'll start off by saying that uh, these have been way uh, less problematic than the first generation HRVs. When those uh, came out initially, we had a ton of water leaks, a ton of rattles, and a ton of noises also coming from the rear, and some other components that did fail. Uh, these have been way, way more reliable. We did have one with the AC condenser issue. Now, you've been following my channel, you know that the CRVs, Accords, and Civics all suffer from a weak uh, AC condensers. Uh, so hopefully that doesn't, uh, you know, continue onto this HRV. The one that we did have had a pretty large impact. So the previous model, sometimes you can't even uh, tell the impact on a Civic CRVs in Accords, but they leak very, very easily. There is some warranty extensions for that. So that is good. But like I said, hopefully that doesn't uh, proceed and follow onto this generation HRV. So, um, we have had some uh, other issues. We had a rattle in uh, the back of one of them and a strut on another one along with uh, ABS modulator on a different one. So overall for the amount of cars that we're seeing, that is very minimal. We see from 100 to 150 cars here daily. So uh, like I said, they've been very, very reliable. And if you're a fellow technician or even a consumer um, and you've had either a negative or positive feedback with these cars, and just share your story uh, with us. So anybody interested either in buying out their lease or uh, potentially in a market for one of these uh, could be informed of any issues that may have happened. But like I said, uh, as of now, compared to the uh, previous generation HRV at this uh, same uh, point in um, you know, its uh, cycle year, uh, these have been way, way more reliable. And these do come with the K20 Z5 engines and these engines are very very reliable the previous generation engine was also very reliable um, but you know we do not see many issues with either one uh, up to uh, this point of course there's always going to be uh, a case here and there where something extreme happens but for the most part these have been ultra reliable my only uh, beef with this uh, engine or hrvs in general is the lack of power or the lack of acceleration primarily hopping onto a highway or uh, maybe trying to overtake a car or something along those lines now uh, the 1.5t is a lot uh, peppier in that perspective but al although it is a lot more problematic so um, i think it's great that they went with this engine it should have you know maybe 10 15 20 more horsepower but obviously that's not my call to make i also love the abundance of a uh, working room here in the event that something does fail it is uh, way easier to uh, work on these from what I could tell right now versus the previous uh, generation uh, vehicle. And once again, uh, anybody interested or in the market for one of these cars could kind of just use this uh, video as a guide to some of the things they may or may not expect. And I will update this as the uh, year two, year three and so forth uh, come on. So we haven't seen any issue with the rotors or anything like that. No tire cupping as of yet. So that is uh, great. As far as the interior goes, we haven't seen any issues as well. Now, um, this is always a concern of mine, although I will say, unlike uh, most Hondas, the cup holders are way up here and should be minimal um, liquid damage on these switches right over here, which is a great. Typically, they put these switches right next to the cup holders, which is a poor design in my opinion. So I am happy they went with this here. So once again, minimal to uh, zero issues on these vehicles. And uh, if you are a fellow technician or somebody in the, that has one of these and you've had uh, either good or bad experiences, uh, make sure you drop a comment down below. Also, drop a comment on real world uh, miles per gallon so we know what the average consumer is getting versus what the ratings are. A lot of times those ratings are in perfect conditions and don't really translate to a uh, real world uh, condition. So, uh, yeah, so if you're in the market with, uh, for one of these cars, I think you should go ahead and uh, buy with uh, confidence. Now, if any uh, major issues do come out with them, obviously I'll update you guys. And uh, so like that, you go have the most and the latest and greatest up-to-date information. So uh, unfortunately, and this being good news, there's not much uh, to cover here because like I said, they have been great. So uh, no news is good news as I like to say. And um, once again, uh, the fact that this video is relatively short is great because that means that 
uh, there is nothing really happening with these vehicles which is great for a consumer so once again guys i will update these videos as year two year three and so forth uh, go by so i uh, make sure you do stay tuned for those videos and with that being said guys i'll catch you on in the next one